judgment. So that same word is what reserved this place unto fire. Mm. So this place is reserved. Like you got a reservation. You you got you called in. You're going to be there at 9 o'clock. You got to get there at 9. <laughs> you got everything set up for you. That's how the Lord is preparing this place to be destroyed, man. This place is reserved for fire, man. You know? So the Lord is actually having, he's putting the spirit on these people to get more wicked and wicked and wicked. And, and with Esau as well. So he can destroy this place, man. It's reserved for fire. <laughs> you got a reservation ticket, you know? Go ahead, I. Right? It says, um, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant for this one thing yep. that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Right, and, and, and that was inserted in there because so you can understand time. Time. We're going to have to long suffer these things before it actually takes place, you know? Mm -hmm. So a thousand years, our thousand years is one day to the Lord. So 70 years ain't nothing to the Lord. That's the long suffering in the flesh on our end. You know? So we still gotta have faith that it's gonna it's gonna happen, man. You know, patience. Go ahead. Verse nine: The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right, and so the, the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night where everybody is is, is, is loudly gagging in la la land, yeah, okay, and, and, and don't care about the word. The Lord is going to come in a thief in the night on them, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Right when you you you're not going to tell. Uh, um, he gonna get caught up in his, his right. in the night. Right. He, he walked right past the truth, man. You giving right. us a card, man. You ain't you ain't stopped to ask nothing. You right. wanna, they, they don't consider. They, consider. they don't consider. They don't consider. That's why I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> hey, they consider not that they do evil by even interrupting men that's in the midst it. of their speech. You know, you by know? attempting to do just that. Not man. caring about it. That's why it's gonna yep. come in a thief at night. That's perfect. Yep. Because when that when like I always say, man, as soon as when that day comes, all the shit that they didn't did is gonna be actually revealed unto them. He's gonna. The reason why he got destroyed, this nigga trying to pass out his cars and shit. You had your chance. You had your chance, that's man. Uh, Romans, the second chapter, that without excuse, man. Without excuse. All right. So uh, that's going to be a thief in the night when this destruction happens. He's going to be wondering why why tornadoes is going on. You know, why why uh, martial law? Why the uh, RFID shit was the mark of the beast? Why is this pestilence going on? He's going to go to church and ask questions and shit. But he had the answers right here, man. You know? Hmm. Go ahead, huh? There's some more. There's some more to that. Uh, verse 10, 2 Peter 3 and 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, yep. in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And that's, the noise is going to be from those voices, man. Okay? And that, that's going to be a noise that the whole world is going to hear, man. The whole world is going to hear uh, uh, America being destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. The earth shall rock, rock to and fro. Oh, so everybody's going to feel it. That's right. It's going to be felt and it's going to be heard, man. Yep. Uh, World War Three will be televised, man. Yep. Go ahead, Al. Huh? It says, And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah, see, the works. Because the reason why this place has to be destroyed is because of those wicked uh, philosophies, man. That got people uh, uh, um, worshiping other gods. That's a, that's a part of the work. That's going to be destroyed. The gods of this earth is going to be destroyed in Babylon. Mm -hmm. right? You know? Let's go ahead. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of a persons ought ye to be in, ho in all holy conversation and godliness? And this is a part of the holy conversation, man. Mm -hmm. us, us, us getting getting together with brothers, man. Mm -hmm. Doing the work outside of doing the work on your day to day life, going over scriptures, doing, doing lessons, you know, being righteous, holy conversation. So, this one depart. The scripture says, Don't let this book of the law depart out of their mouth, man. That's right. To meditate on it uh, day and night, <clears throat> you know, that's fellowshipping with the brothers, okay, that's doing this work. Because huh. think about it if you don't talk about this for three days, what the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna say one day. How can you not bring up the scriptures? In one whole day, exactly. Without bringing up anything spiritual, for one whole fucking day, man. You going off? Well, yeah. So just the commandments, Deuteronomy, uh, I just pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy six. That's the spirit. Yep. Yep. So we, we we have to speak this thing, man. We was going over it yesterday. No, yep. go ahead, bro. I say this all the time. I've been in the truth. This is my fourth year. 
it ain't been a whole day yet that I ain't at least watched the video or read at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At all. Four years. Yeah. I, I pick up the Bible, I watch a video every day. Yeah, absolutely. As soon as I wake up, the first thing I do, mm -hmm. I don't even brush the teeth. <laughs> I do, guys. <laughs> Let's do Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hero Israel, Yahweh, our power is one, one Yahweh. And thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Yep. And that word heart is the Hebrew word love, which means your mind. Right. All right? So your mind got to be focused on the Lord. And wisdom, in Sirach, I believe the sixth chapter, it says the meditation of wisdom is the perfection thereof. You got to have this on your mind, all right? That's, right? That's what walking in the spirit means. Yep. How are you walking in the spirit if you're not walking according to the word? Because the word is the spirit, St. John 6 and 63, you know? Um... And these words that I command thee this day shall be in thy heart, thy mind, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. That's all day. When you're chilling, when you're going out and about, when you laying down, when you rise up. All right? And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand. And the, the, that parable, the way I visualize it, it's like, um, say you got a kindergartner. They, you want to give them a reminder. You tie a string to their finger. You put a string upon their finger. That's what Esau does, man. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. You know, you keep this law on your mind. It's a reminder. Yep. Like even a law about the fringes. Yep. It says the fringe shall be to a law. Yep. So we see it on our garments and remember. Yep. Everything that we do is so we uh, uh, remember these laws, man. Mm -hmm. right. And they shall be as frontless between thine eyes. So basically like having on uh, scriptural goggles, man. Yeah. You're in the world according to the scriptures. You see a group of niggas on the corner. Oh, that's Isaiah. You know, they should be as the bull by, uh, by at, uh, a wild bull at the head of the way. All right? You nigga woman, you see her in the car, already on the phone, talking neck rolling and shit. Yep. All damn.